Hello everyone, myself Mohit Roy from College Dunia and today I am at Gujarat Maritime University. Today we are having uh, with us Dr. G. V. Nasima Rao sir. Uh, he is the registrar of uh, GMU. Welcome to College Dunia sir. Uh, so starting with our Q&A session, my first question to you is uh, being the registrar of uh, GMU, what is your philosophy of leadership how would you describe your leadership style? Leadership, in my opinion, is um, serving the needs of the students. Students are our customers. So serving their needs is the utmost importance. Apart from that, I also believe, I also believe um, teamwork is the most important thing. Being the uh, leader of the team, I want to See everybody rallies around me for uh, in, a, in, in our efforts to bring the university to the uh, new levels of new levels or new heights. Uh, so my second question to you, sir: uh, How does the curriculum of Gujarat Maritime University ensure the best practice of industry? So we have we are following the best practices, and we have incorporated the best practices of the industry into our curriculum also in several subjects and apart from that we have tie up with the international uh, international international uh, institutions like uh, Erasmus Erasmus College of Management Netherlands we have we have also uh, tie up with other international institutions that really, uh, in various countries apart from that we are holding summer summer courses and we are um, allowing students or we are permitting students to undergo internship in various um, companies dealing or uh, dealing in shipping business and logistics business and and we are taking the students to the port visits and we are conducting webinars and we are also visiting um, we are also calling inviting guest faculty to address our students on practical aspects of shipping and uh, um, logistics and we are also uh, have just now I told you we have some tie up uh, arrangements with external institutions like Erasmus School of Management, Erasmus School of uh, Law and uh, STC of Netherlands these are all foreign institutions we want to inculcate good practices best practices prevailing in industry uh, not only in India and also the best practices across the other countries. Moving to the next question, sir. Uh, what are the greatest strengths of Gujarat Maritime University? Gujarat Maritime University is a, a unique university, unique institution. We are offering specialized courses. This university is a sector specific university. We are offering specialized courses like international trade law, like MBA shipping and logistics, which no other university is offering in MBA. And we are also offering international maritime law. All these courses are unique, specialized, and other universities in India at present are not offering. This is the strength of the University Gujarat Maritime University. This is a unique, unique feature of Gujarat Maritime University. And apart from that, this university is backed by the by the Gujarat Maritime Board. Gujarat Maritime Board is a state agency of Gujarat government. So the indirectly, Gujarat Maritime University is getting support from the Gujarat government through Gujarat Maritime Board. That's the our strength, another strength of it. So the fourth question would be, uh, what would you like uh, people to know about your university they may not know? University is, going, is at present located in uh, Gandhinagar, Koba, Koba Gaon, Koba village, uh, exactly opposite to the Pandit Vindyal University and functioning in the transitory campus of Gujarat National Law University. So this in this uh, this campus presently university is functioning is not permanent campus and I, I request all the viewers to know that if you, this university is going to be shifted to the um, are going to be shifted to the gift city. So land is allotted to the Gujarat Maritime University by the government of Gujarat. And government of Gujarat, with the help of government of Gujarat and Gujarat Maritime Board, university is going to have state-of-art building 
and state of art facilities and also with uh, qualified teachers and uh, um, so gift city is a, a unique city again and where every, every all kinds of services will be available like professionals like chartered accountants law firms insurers banking facilities every every kind of service will be available in gift city including educational institutions like service of education so already some schools are functioning in gift city and we are also going to be and this university is also going to be shifted into the gift city once the building is ready so uh, my next question would be uh, what do you think should be the university's top priority over the next 10 years the top priority of universities to produce uh, professionals with uh, excellent skills in shipping business shipping sector not only that to encourage research in shipping shipping uh, uh, studies maritime studies shipping studies international trade so research also going on we have specific centers of uh, research already functioning and through these centers the university wants to produce uh, people with excellent skills teachers with excellent skills and other uh, uh, to meet the to help the government uh, as advisor to the government of Gujarat and central government so university can act as an advisor to the government in specific sectors like maritime sector and other things that's also possible so sir my last question would be any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students uh, the, the sector is maritime sector is so Till, uh, as of now, it's a very open sector. Plenty of opportunities, employment opportunities. Plenty of uh, opportunity to, uh, to go for the research in this area. This is an emerging area, promising area. So naturally, opportunities are uh, very plenty. And anybody who wants to join in maritime sector can use these opportunities uh, for his personal growth as well as uh, to the contribution of the uh, this sector, maritime sector. That's really a great thing if anybody wants to do. Uh, thank you for all the QA, sir. Uh, I would appreciate your time giving to us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much.